Six years ago, I was a scrawny 150-pound kid who had failed his first year of college. And that's when I decided to join the Army. Since day one, I knew that the Army was going to change my life. When I got back from training, that's when I really began to notice the change. The first thing I noticed was my discipline. I went from failing my freshman year to getting my first ever 4.0 my first semester back. Then I noticed a change in my patience in two ways. One, you wait around a lot in the military, so I got used to that. And two, patience in people. The military is full of people who learn at different paces. I learned not to get frustrated when it took some people longer to understand things. The military gave me a lot of opportunities that I'm incredibly thankful for and a lot of memories that I'll never forget. And so ends this chapter of my life. Thank you to anybody who has supported me over these past six years. I would not have been able to do this without each and every one of you. I am done with the army. Like it's officially done. Like I just walked out and it's like I was never there. I turned in all my stuff and it's gone. Six years, gone, just like that, just gone. I was gone. We got a, 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 a weird, a, a little bit. We got a weird, like, roller coaster of emotions kind of going right now. Like, I'm really excited because obviously, like, you guys know, I don't know, the Army thing wasn't really for me. I never really planned to make a career out of it. So I'm excited to be done and have every single weekend available to spend time with Kelly and Brayden and not have it interfere with any plans and get in the way or anything like that. But I'm also kind of sad because, it, I mean, you just watched the, the six year like story and I learned a lot in the army and it just kind of became like a part of me. And now that part is just kind of done. Like this chapter of my life is closed. But in a way it is exciting because that just means that a new chapter is about to begin. And that's what, that's what it's all about is just starting new chapters and creating new experiences. So I'm really excited to start this new chapter of no more army and no more school. Like I just graduated college like three days ago and now I'm done with college, which I've been in college for like seven years, which quick side note, my book is gonna be dropping soon since I now graduated college. It's called How to Get Your Bachelor's Degree in a Short Seven Years. But like in the matter of three days, my, my entire life has just changed. Like I have no more schoolwork to worry about ever again. Like it's not just a summer off, it's ever again. And I have no more drill dates to worry about ever again. It's weird. But I'm on my way home and I am going to celebrate. I bought some, Kelly let me break open the wall a little, little bit and spend, <laughs> spend a lot of money on four beers, very expensive beers. Here's a uh, quick picture of those beers. They're all like, they all sat in like barrels, different types of barrels for a while. So they're very high in alcohol content. They're supposed to be really good. Fulton, which is a Minnesota beer, Fulton Brewing Company. So I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna enjoy those beers, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna relax, enjoy those beers, and so begins a new chapter of the Waterboy vlog. Well, officially home, sitting outside with Brody. Waiting for Kelly to get home, I think she went on a bike ride, bike, bike ride, a bike ride with Brayden. And I started drinking already. Celebratory beers. Cheers to a, uh, a new chapter, gang. This was a porter that was aged in bourbon barrels. You gotta sip it very slow. Can't chug, can't chug that kind of beer. So I get home from my final day of the army and look what, look what I walk into. This is, this is pretty adorable. Get ready.
Here it is. Oh, a cake that says we are so proud. We don't we need a poo balloon. Christopher Robin. Hey, yep, yep, I'm, I'm feeling the love right now. I'm feeling the love. It's like I got home and Kelly wasn't here and I was like, where is the love? It's right here. That was a stupid joke. About to break into beer number two here. It is a Russian Imperial Stout aged in cognac barrels. I don't know if I don't read so good. I don't know that word. Don't judge me. So unfortunately, I can already tell right now that I'm not gonna be able to drink all four of these. One, they're very high in alcohol content. Jesus. They're very high in alcohol content. They're, you, they have a really like strong bourbon and like whiskey type taste. Fun fact about me, I hate hard alcohol, like whiskey, rum, any of that. I just hate it so much. Beer is like the only alcohol that I'm gonna drink. So because it has such that strong taste, it makes me a little worried. So you have to sip them, sip them nice and slow. But uh, whew, let's give her a taste test here. Mm. That one's better than the first one. That one's way better, way smoother than the than the first one I had. First one I was a little like, uh-oh, I'm not gonna like these. That one's way better though. And gang, with that, I'm going to end the vlog there while I spend the rest of the night sipping on my beer and eating some cake. Yeah, I already had two pieces, what of it? Dad starts tomorrow, you know? And now that school and drill are over, I've been really focusing a lot on those things, um, getting all the gear together for drill, making sure everything was turned in, paperwork's all filled out, yada, yada, yada. In school, of course, finals and papers. I had my senior STEM paper, which was like 30 pages long, I had to finish. It's been super busy, but now that all that is over, I can get back to vlogging and putting out content. Vlogging, podcasting, blogging. <laughs> Your boy does it all. And it's all coming to you soon. Just stay on lookout for it, waterboyvlog.com. If, if, if you didn't hear that, because my voice cracked, because I haven't hit puberty yet, it's waterboyvlog.com. <laughs> but before I go, I want to make one quick announcement. If you follow me on any social media platform, you've probably seen the video of the shirts that I created. They're shirts with a big black box on them, and they say, your story matters. And as you know, on this channel, I always say, what's your story? I'm encouraging you guys to go out, live the story that you want to live. My goal is to let you know that your story truly does matter. So my goal with these shirts is to hopefully, you know, when people wear them, if somebody's feeling depressed, if they're having troubles with mental illness, they see somebody wearing the shirt and it reminds them that yes, their story does matter. Anyways guys, I'm not gonna give you the whole sales pitch in the vlog, but 100% of the proceeds from those shirts are going to be donated to Mental Health America. So if you're interested in that, you can go to waterboyblog.com, hit the shop tab, click on the Your Story Matters <clears throat> tab, otherwise the link for it will be in the description below. Thank you Brody. Not trying to vlog you or anything, don't worry. And as always gang, remember, stay true, be you! I'll catch you later. In three, two, So tell me, what's your story?